Hey guys, today we're talking about how to tie a full Windsor knot. So the full Windsor knot is a very traditional, very conservative looking knot. It's been around for a long time and it's predominantly seen in Europe, I think. We don't see it too often here in the United States, although uh, the financial community and the concierge community, of course, tends to wear it. It's a very good looking knot for kind of your when you want to project confidence and really honor the other person by having a very well put together presentation. So it's a great looking knot. Let's go over how you do it. First of all, it has a lot of bulk, has a lot of weight. Okay, so a lot of it goes into tying, a lot of the necktie goes into tying this knot. And what that means is that two things. One, you might need a spread collar, which is what we recommend, because you have more space you're going to fill up. And secondly, that your necktie will probably be one of the, the longer versions. If you notice when you're shopping, they have extra long neckties. That could be a good option for you, but you'll kind of see how it all shakes out. So for me, this gap is ten, tends to what works well for me when I tie this knot. So it's quite a disparity between the length of the short end and the long end. But the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take this wide end, and we're going to take it over the short end, the narrow end of the tie. And I'm going to hang on to it up at the top. Now, we're going to take this long end, and we're going to loop it back up through that gap to my neck and where I'm holding the knot together. Take all the slack out, let it fall down. Now, you're going to take this long end, and it's going to come over to the side, kind of like I'm pointing to towards the wall. And you'll notice I'm looking at the under portion. This is the seam of the necktie. It's now going to loop back and come down and through that gap. And you'll see that's what, what is created is already a very symmetrical beginning of this knot. Now, if you can believe it, we have one movement left to finish this knot. And that is when this end comes over in front, points to the other side, and now we'll come from under. It's going to go back up through that space. And the last little bit is that we created this little loop here at the front. We're going to put that wide end through that loop, pull it down, and that is a full Windsor knot. And you can tell that even though I started with such a big gap between that long end and the short end of the necktie, the narrow end. Look how it's worked out. It's already kind of too short, so I kind of need a longer tie to make this happen. But the knot is something that you can then kind of cinch up and shape a little bit. And then, of course, put the collar back down, adjust as needed, and that is the full Windsor knot.